major investments in Pitt County schools. Hundreds of thousands of dollars will make its way from the bank to the classroom. The first round of money comes from a state grant. It will help Pitt County increase the number of school resource officers. Pitt County Schools says they received a grant for $460,000 with the school board matching half. A total of nearly $700,000 will be invested in additional officers. Superintendent Ethan Lenker says they hope to make changes immediately. And Lenker is already working with law enforcement from Bethel to Grifton. We'll start looking at the schools that are in the most need based on location. This is obviously a pretty important thing. And, and you know, other areas of how far they are from different police stations and things like that. The second round of money comes from Greenville's red light cameras. It's been a long process to get access to the funds. A lawsuit held the money up earlier this year. Now more than $550,000 is at the school board's disposal. Nine on your side's Brandon Truitt joins us now. And Brandon, the first investments are going to technology. Angie, the school board has already put about $200,000 to use. That leaves more than half still in the bank. Now this money, a result of a system that might be a pain to drivers in Greenville, now creating opportunities for students. We have computers that are in our teachers hands that are, you know, six, seven, eight years old. With each flash of the light, so we're trying to rotate those through. Pitt County Schools sees an increase in funds to help teachers and students. Greenville's red light cameras rolled out in November of last year. Between its start and May, more than 11,000 tickets have been issued. At $100 a piece, that's more than $1.1 million. The board made it clear that we're going to look at technology items and school safety issues. Pitt County Schools has received about 550,000 of that total. So far, about half has been used for teacher computers. Well, we actually started a, a rotation of teacher computers five years ago. We actually had to skip a year because we didn't have the money. Um, so this year we're able to do last year and this year. So really we're just in a cycle. This is going to affect teachers all over Pitt County. Superintendent Ethan Linker says new software for exceptional student classrooms won't run on the current computers. So we're going to spend this next year updating all of their computers. And that's another 200 and some computers we're going to have to buy. From there, Linker says they'll fund requests from teachers known as impact venture grants which is actually designed to get computers into the students' hands. The requests look to impact specific classrooms with custom needs. All of these projects ago because some drivers couldn't stop. Linker says in addition to new computers and other technology, school safety is a top priority. He adds there are several infrastructure projects they hope to complete with this funding. Brandon Truitt, not on your side. Brandon, thanks. When it comes to running red lights, statistics show that more than 3.8 million people in the U.S. ran a light in 2017. North Carolina is ranked as the eighth deadliest state for red light running fatalities in the nation. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, each year more than 800 people die as a result of drivers running red lights.